IIT Mumbai, and uh, the Titan is a generation of two regions of hub and two competitive and ring. Please. I want to thank the organizers for giving me opportunity to talk here. So, so my title is on a generalization of two results of HAPL to commit to rings. So, I'll just state HAPL's results. So, let gamma be a finite dimensional algebra over a field K. So, HAPL proved that its bounded derived category DB mod gamma has oscillator right triangles. I'll define later what that, that is. If and only if gamma has finite global dimension. He also proved that the bounded, if you look at the bounded uh, uh, homotopic cap category of projective models over gamma, then the homo uh, then it has right AR triangles if and only if gamma is a Gorenstein algebra. Okay, so there is a notion of Gorenstein algebra of finite dimensional algebras, but uh, for example, if it is commutative, every uh, uh, Artanian Gorenstein ring is Gorenstein algebra. So. So there is Auslander's philosophy. What he said that that study of representation theory of Artin algebras have natural analogs in cohen macaulay models over cohen macaulay local rings, which are free on the punctured set spectrum. So this was a big philosophy of, of Auslander and Wrighton, and they literally did a lot of representation theory of uh, maximal cohen macaulay models, and this was what he, what he did. And so we study natural analogs of Happel's results in the context of community to Noetherian rings. So note that, I mean, what I want to say is that, I mean, uh, they work when the module is free on the punctured spectrum. Then it is, the analog goes through very well. So, so our generalization is the following. So let AM be a community to Noetherian local ring of dimension D. Let DBF mod A be bounded derived category of complexes of finitely generated A modules with finite length cohomology. So I want the cohomology should have finite length. Then it can be shown that DBF mod A is a home finite plus Smith triangle category. Our generalization of first of Heppel's result is the following. Let AM be a Noetherian local ring. The following conditions are equal, are equivalent. A is regular if and only if the DBF mod A has Auslander right and triangles. So, uh, as uh, Auslander's theory philosophy gives us results which can be proved, but the proofs have to are different. You have to give different proofs. The same proof doesn't generalize. So, so let KBF proj A be a subcategory of KB proj A with finite end cohomology by Aus Apple's result if AM is a zero dimensional commutative Gorenstein ring, then KB proj A has Auslander right triangles. For higher dimensional Gorenstein rings, we prove the following extension of one direction of Apple's result. So let AM be a complete Gorenstein local ring, then KBF proj A has AR triangles. Okay. Uh, so we believe the converse of this theorem two is also true. That is. More precisely, let AM be a complete Noetherian local ring. If KBF proj A has Auslander right and triangles, then A is Gorenstein. Okay, so the converse is also true. That is what we conjecture, and we prove conjecture three under the following cases. Uh, so you assume A is uh, that KB proj A has A R triangles. If A is Cohen Macaulay, then A is Gorenstein, and if dimension of A is less than or equal to one. Then A is Gorenstein. So, uh, so the Cohen Macaulay case, we have complete uh, the conjecture, but otherwise we can do only for dimension one. So, let me just define what Auslander right and triangles are. So, let C be a Kurt Smith triangle category with shift functor omega gamma. Then a triangle N E M gamma N in C is a right AR triangle ending at M. If M and N are indecomposable, that is the first condition, H is non-zero, and if D is indecomposable, 
that for every non-isomorphism T from D to M, H composite T is zero, okay? So dually we have what is called left AR triangle. So it is from um, M, gamma, uh, uh, some inverse M to N to E to M is left AR triangle starting at N if M and N are indecomposable, W is non-zero, and if D is indecomposable, then for every non-isomorphism T from N to D, we have T composite W is zero. So we say C has AR triangles. If for any indecomposable M in C, there exists a AR triangle ending at M and a left AR triangle ending, starting at M. So you should have both. Then we say it has AR triangles. So if you uh, study uh, uh, Oslan and theory, if you want to prove, I mean, uh, I mean, Oslan and Ryden triangles naturally occur in representation theory, and uh, they are, uh, so this is the triangle version of that. So, so let us define what is a Sayer functor. Uh, so let AM be a Northern local ring and E be injective hull of K. And you just take the uh, Matlis dual of that. And let C be a home finite A triangulated Cruz Smith category. By a right Sayer functor on C, we mean an additive functor F from C to C such that we have an isomorphism uh, eta C D from home C D to home C D F C uh, dual for any C, D in C, which is natural in C and D. Now, whenever you have a right Sayer functor, you can prove that F will be fully faithful, okay? Now, if F is an equivalence, then we say F is a, F to be a Sayer functor. So, there is a very nice uh, result due to Wrighton and Vanderburg, uh, which uh, uh, characterizes uh, when, a, uh, when a triangle category has yeah, triangles, and the result is that if you have a home finite A linear triangulated Kulsmith category, then the following are equivalent. C has AR triangles, if and only if C has a Sayer functor. Okay. Uh, now this result actually came after Happel's result. Okay, and uh, in my, uh, it is in for me. I mean, it is easier to prove the triangle category has a Sayer functor. And then, I mean, one can, by this result, it has a, uh, it has a, it has AR triangles. So, uh, so I'll just uh, give a short proof of uh, that if A is a Northern local ring, then the bounded derived category of finite cohomology is a home finite triangulated A Goldsmith category. Now, DBFA is a thick subcategory of DBA, so it is triangulated. Now, Balmer proved that DBA has split adipotence. This is in 2001. And using this fact, you can show that DBFA also has split adipotence. And uh, uh, if K is the homotopy category, then uh, if XY is bonded complexes in DBFA, and if you take F to be a minimal projective resolution of X, then home DBA XF xy is home kfy, this automatically shows you can localize, and so fp localize is zero. So using that, it follows that home dba is a, has finite length. So dbfa is a finite, home finite category. And you take any complex and you just look at the homology, then it's clear that x, if c is a sum of all the homology, then X cannot be the direct sum of C plus one non-zero. So X is a finite direct sum. Now, so every uh, complex X can be written as a finite direct sum of indecomposables. So you also have that if you have a finite, home finite with split item potents, then the endomorphism rings of indecomposables are local. And because of that, you have that DBFA is a home finite cool Smith triangle category. Now, I'll just prove the first, with the first, only the forward implication. So let AM be regular. 
and the injective hull of A mod M. So you can D is the dual with respect to A and E uh, curly E is the dual with respect to E. Now you note that D F G is isomorphic to K bounded projective A and uh, so the point is that so oops sorry. So D is uh, uh, equivalent from KBF proj A to KBF proj B proj A, then you, you go from you, uh, to KBF injective A and then you take projective resolution, okay? So you take the composite of all these maps, uh, then the first thing you show is F is dense, and then uh, you want to show F is equivalence, but that is easier if you can directly show it as self functor. I mean, you can show that uh, F is a self functor, so you have a homomorph isomorphism, home KXY to home KY FX dual. So the only, uh, my main contribution was to guess this, uh, that this is the functor that we want to do. I mean, that requires some manipulation, but once you have that this is the right thing, then the proof is actually straightforward. So the, the contribution is to guess the F, okay? Uh, so proof of the second theorem, so you assume AM is a complete Gorenstein local ring, and you look at the category of finite length AM models, which has also a finite projective dimension. So, as A is Goldstein, then you know that a module has finite project dimension if and only if the module has finite injective dimension. So, uh, uh, so if M belongs to S, then the dual with respect to E also belongs to S. And for each M belongs to S, you fix a minimal projective resolution PM. And IM is the dual of PM dual, which is the minimal injective resolution of M. And FF is the thick subcategory of PM in M belongs to S, and IF is thick subcategory of IM where M belongs to S in KBFG injective A. Uh, so you can show that FF is contained in KBF proj A and IF is contained in KBF E. So you have three equivalences. The dual with respect to A from KBA proj A to KBA proj A opposite. And then E is taking dual with respect to the uh, injective hull. And P is the project, uh, uh, projective resolution functor. And then you can show that D in, induces an equivalence from FF to F opposite. E induces an equivalence from FF to I opposite and P inducing equivalence from PR from IF to F opposite. <laughs> and you look at this, I mean, this is the same as in the theorem one. I mean, essentially, it's the same functor, but you have to do it on this subcategory. Now, there's a very non-trivial result due to Neiman, which shows that uh, he classified thick subcategories of KB proj A. And it follows that KBF project does not have proper thick subcategories. So FF is KBF project. This is an extremely non-trivial result oops, of Neiman, I mean, and and uh, uh, so once once you have Neiman's result. Uh, then the rest of the theorem is okay. I mean, you can just prove that n eta is uh, is a uh, is, uh, is a natural isomorphism, and we have proved that G is an equivalent. So G, so so this is a right self functor, but G is also equivalent, which you just proved. So KBF project has also a right hand triangles. So now uh, the converse part, that if you have an Euthyrian local ring, then the EBFA has AR triangles if and only if A is regular local. Now we all know that 
a ring is regular local if and only if the project dimension of the residue field is finite. Now, if ring is not regular local, then how to construct a resolution of K? And then there is a process. I mean, this was independently proved by Gulickson and Scholar that one can use the Tate process. I'll define what that is to yield a minimal resolution of K. And the previous result follows. Theorem follows the following result. You take a minimal resolution of K, then A is not, if A is not regular, there does not exist a right AR triangle in K, B, F, Rho, J ending at X. So this is exactly, I mean, you, you, uh, you basically, uh, you actually need some control on X, so that is given by Gulickson and Scholar, and then you show this. So my complexes are all cohomological, so, so let us uh, define what Tate process is. So an associated algebra X over A is co is called non-positive D algebra if the following hypotheses are satisfied. X is non-positively graded. So, and then each X i is a finally A module. X has a unit element. And then you assume X is strictly skew commutative. So that is X y is minus one of degree X times degree y, y X. And X squared is zero if X is odd, if degree of X is odd. And you have a skew derivation from dx to x, such that dxn is x to the n plus 1. And d squared is 0. For xy homogeneous, you have dxy is dxy plus minus 1 x, x dy. Now you have all done your Kuzul complex. The Kuzul complex is a very simple example of this if you write it cohomologically. So you, usually you write positively, but I am writing index cohomologically. So this is how it will be. And then you have a, a Tate's process of killing cycles. So you let x be a non-positive DAG algebra and let gamma, uh, rho be less than 0 be negative integer. And T is a cycle in degree P rho plus 1. If P is odd, then one can adjoin exterior algebra to x. And if rho is even, we can divide variable to x. And in the DG algebra x t, you send t to the small t, the cycle t is scale. And by Tate's process, we can construct a DG resolution of A mod i for any ideal i. The problem with this process is that if you start with an M primary ideal, you take, say, the Kuzul complex of I, then S star of X has finite length, that is fine. But if T is a cycle of degree minus 1 and you uh, adjoin a divided variable T, then S star of Y need not have finite length. Okay. So note that, but each, each component, H I Y, has finite length. The whole may not be finite length, but each H I Y has finite length. Okay. So then, so to go into the uh, uh, category of DBA, DBA, that is you want finite cohomology, so you get good filtration of DE algebras. And so let X be a non-positive DG algebra over A. We assume X i is a finitely generated free A module for all i less than or equal to 0. And each component uh, has finite length. Uh, then by good filtration, fi, we, we assume fi, f dot i is subcomplex of fi, uh, and with fi n is a direct sum of xn for all n. fi is contain fi plus 1, and union of fi is x. And fi n is a direct sum of fi plus 1 n for all n. And then you, x, you can multiply things. So we, what we want is that there is some c depending on x, x and f, so then fi, fj is contained in fi plus j plus c with the appropriate degrees. But here is the uh, main point, that is you want the cohomology of f star i to be finite for all i. That is the total cohomology is finite. So you are not leaving that category of finite, finitely generated cohomology. So that is the point, okay?
and we say f is a proper good filtration if f i is not x for all i. So here is a lemma on good filtration. So you assume rho is less than 0 and h i x is 0 for i, 0 bigger than i less than rho plus 2 and suppose uh, h p plus 1 x is non-zero and you take a cycle and you join a variable which kills it. Now you assume x has a good filtration, then z will also have a good filtration. If x has a good filtration, and the th so I did not write that, I'm, I'm sorry about it, I should have mentioned here x has a good filtration, okay. Uh, if the filtration on x is proper, then the constructed filtration on z is also proper. And if, if rho is even, then regardless of uh, filtration on x, the constructed filtration on z is proper, okay. And then we have two propositions. So the, the point is that, uh, so if u is a minimal complex and v is a proper subcomplex, uh, where v, e, v, n is a direct sum and of u, n, then the inclusion v to u is not a retraction in KBF project. And now we want a lemma to extend uh, uh, homotopy from V to U. So there the condition is that uh, if W is such that HN of W is zero for N less than or equal to M and VN is UN for all N bigger than M, then G from U to W be a chain map so that G ratio to V is null homotopic, then G is null homotopic. So we can extend, the whole trick here is that you can extend homotopy from V to you. The condition is that Hn of W should be 0 for n less than equal to m. So why is this useful? So I'll just uh, give the uh, proof. So now we prove the result. So suppose if possible that there is an AR triangle ending at x. So, so we have AR triangle u to k to x to u. And you assume uh, u is a complex with finite cohomology. So uh, h of u1 is 0 for i bigger than or equal to m. Now you can, you have to take two cases. So A is a complete intersection. So let y1 be the causal complex on a minimal generators of m and y2 be y1, t1, tr be dg complex by killing cycles of degree minus 1 in y1. Then Tate showed that y2 is a minimal resolution of k. And you take a proper good filtration on y2, then we may assume uh, fij is y2 for i bigger than equal to m, for i bigger than equal to i naught. So you have an inclusion from fi y naught to x. Now I proved in the previous result that phi of y i naught is not a retraction. So because, uh, because this is an AR triangle, you have g, g0 composed of phi i naught is zero, as alpha is an AR triangle. And by second proposition, we can uh, uh, extend the homotopy from G compose phi i to G compose phi i plus one. Keep on doing that, you have homotopy on x, and it follows that G is null homotopic. So I'll just go back. See, the thing is, if you have a triangle, G is non-zero, but we have shown G is null homotopic, so G is zero. So that is not possible, so we have a contradiction. The case two is that uh, A is not a complete intersection. Then the po point is that uh, this state process doesn't end. So if we, Y1 is a causal, compl uh, causal complex, you take Yi killing uh, Y minus one and keep on doing that. Uh, then it's known that Yi is not XI for all I. And let F be a good filtration of my M. So I'm assuming that, so uh, we may assume that Fij is Y is a M for I bigger than M, and we have an inclusion. Then phi I naught is not a retraction, so G comma phi, phi I naught is zero. Then as considered before, we can, we can extend to a homotopy on YM. And then, uh, uh, we have done on YM, then see the previous result, 
on extending home water, we did not use uh, anything. So we can keep on doing that. So we have a homotopy on a G is null homotopic, which is a contradiction. That is, so that finishes the proof. And so, and, so thank you. So any question or remark? Uh, could you go back to that uh, thing where you said it's not a retraction? Uh, that yeah. proposition 12. Are you assuming u dot is indecomposable? No, no. I mean, I'm just assuming vn is a direct sum and it's, a, it's in projection way. I'm not assuming it's indecomposable, nothing. I see. Because I'm a bit puzzled then. If I take u dot to be v dot direct sum itself, huh? take the direct sum of two copies of v dot and take the inclusion of one sum and. It's a sub-complex, it's a direct sum and minimal, everything will be satisfied. It's a retraction because I took a direct sum of two copies and I included one copy. You must have some condition. I'll think about it and tell you. Okay. Thank you. Is there a question or remark? So, if it's not the case, so we can't speak again.